Hello everyone, my name is Blair and I'm an educator at Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Since you can't come to the aquarium right now, we're bringing the aquarium to you. Thanks so much for joining me. Since the beginning of time, humans have observed the natural world around them. To observe something means to notice it with your senses. You can observe things like the beautiful pattern of a butterfly wing, or the way the wind moves your hair, or the smell and hopefully taste of delicious cookies baking. You make observations all day long. And sometimes these observations are really important to science. For example, a man living in Colorado started keeping track of his observations of how much snow fell every day around his cabin. Over the many, many years that he's been doing this, he's collected a huge amount of information. And today, scientists use that information to track global climate change. You never know what observations you make that might be useful to science, or that might just be interesting, and that matters too. Observation really is the backbone of science. I bet there are things that you can start observing from your home right now. So find a calendar where you can mark down your observations and let's get started. You could observe every day the weather that you see outside. So when you wake up in the morning, look outside at the sky and mark down what you see. If it's sunny or rainy or cloudy. Today it's cloudy so I can mark that on my calendar. And, and tomorrow I'll mark down what I observe in the weather then. Over the months, as you observe, you'll collect lots of interesting information, like how many days this month are cloudy and how many days next month will be cloudy. If you start now, you'll be able to have that information. You could also observe how long your shadow is at different times in the day. Try tracing it with chalk on the sidewalk and see uh, through the day how it changes and what you notice. You could also observe what time flowers bloom. Do flowers bloom now or next month or even later? If you start observing now, you'll have that interesting information as the seasons change. You could observe what the sunniest part of your home is, um, how early the sun comes into your favorite window, or how many days per week you have to wear a jacket when you go outside. Again, observation is the backbone of science, and it's a great way to learn about science and the natural world around you, but it's also a great way to appreciate the beauty and the wonder of our living planet. So get started right now and tag us in photos and videos of your observations. We can't wait to share it with you and to explore, discover, and learn about our beautiful living planet with you. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.